Good news, double good news, okay? First piece of good news, there's really nothing new. We're basically just doing things twice. Second piece of good news is this is gonna be really useful in 3.3, which is linear programming, which is super cool. One of my passions in math is linear programming, so we got that coming up next section. It's, it can be a little tricky, but uh, this will make it easier if you're good with 3.2. So remember that when we have a system of equations, a solution to that system is just all the points that make all the equations true. Systems of linear inequalities is going to be the same. We'll just look at all the points that make both inequalities true. So for system of equations, we could graph them and find when both things were true. That's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to graph both of these inequalities and see when they're both true. So let's start by graphing the first equation, inequality. Um, uh, we have a y-intercept of 2. Let's label our axes x and y. And our slope is 1. So this is what our first one looks like. You don't need to graph this many points. I like graphing this many points because I'm really bad at drawing straight lines. And then it's less than or equal to, so it'll be a solid line. We don't have to do any dash lines here. And then we're looking at everything under the line because it's y is less than or equal to. So this is all, these are all the points that satisfy our first equation. Our first inequality, rather. And now we graph the second one. I'll graph it in red. y is greater than or equal to 1 minus x. So this is an intercept of 1 and a slope of negative one. So it's gonna be all these points. All right, it's also greater than or equal to, so we'll graph it with a solid line. Look how bad I am at straight lines, look at that. And then we want everything above this red line. So let's, let's see how this app works. Above the red line, is going to be all these blue things. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I can't color in the lines. <laughs> all right, we're not fixing it. Not fixing it. So in this case, our solution is the green area. All right, blue plus yellow is green. All right. If you're doing this on your own and you don't have a highlighter, you don't have nice digital colors like this, here, and let's say you don't have colors at all. Here's another way that you can do this. You can do like big vertical lines for one area. And then you can do horizontal lines for the other area. And then you can say, oh, our solution is where there are vertical and horizontal lines and then you can do it like this. It's not as pretty, but it gets the job done. Okay, so you don't need multiple colors. They help. But this is how you can do it on your own or like on a quiz or something like that. If you only have just a pencil, that's totally fine. There's a couple of other ways that you can do it as well. But vertical and horizontal lines are how I always did it in my own notes when I was doing things just with a pencil. As long as it's obvious or like clear in a sense what your solution is so you can do these ones really lightly and then really shade this one in so it's clear what your final answer is what i'd recommend and that's all we're doing for systems of inequalities we got some more examples coming up in the next video if you want them otherwise have at it